is has taken several interesting twists and turns. Who is Swati Maliwal? Before I go into the entire backstory, who is Swati Maliwal? She is a Rajya Sabha member from the Aam Aadmi Party. She is at the center of this massive controversy right now. She is the former Delhi Women's Panel Chief. She has accused Vibhav Kumar, the erstwhile personal secretary of Arvind Kejriwal, of assaulting her at his residence. Now, she was among the youngest to join the Anna Hazare-led India Against Corruption movement. Swati Maliwal was married to Aam Aadmi Party leader Naveen Jai Hind earlier, and she was, she's been divorced since February 2020. She was appointed as the chairperson of the Delhi Commission for Women in 2015. She was also granted an extension of, of three years in 2018. In January this year, Swati Maliwal, along with Aam Aadmi Party's N.D. Gupta and Sanjay Singh, were elected unopposed to the Rajya Sabha. Why and when was she assaulted? This apparently happened on the 13th of May in the residence of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Why was she assaulted? In her attempt to meet the Chief Minister, she was obstructed by an individual by the name Bibhav Kumar, who was earlier the personal secretary of uh, Arvind Kejriwal, recently removed by the Delhi Vigilance Department from that position. He is the individual who is accused of physically assaulting Swati Maliwal. This is from her account and from her statement recorded in, uh, in the police station that she was kicked and slapped several times. This is an unprovoked assault is what she calls it. She says her idea was to meet the chief minister, but here is an individual who came and started assaulting her on that particular day. She made a phone call to the police from the residence of Arvind Kejriwal and that phone call, in fact, from the side of the police is being reported as Miss Maliwal calling up the police to say that Arvind Kejriwal has ordered this assault on her. Ki unke kehne pe mere upar ki ja rahi hai. This is what the police is reporting. So that is what I meant when I said there are a lot of conflicting versions here. Now Aam Aadmi Party comes out and says that Swati Maliwal was sent to the CM's residence by the BJP. Now let's come to the issue of who is Bibhav Kumar, the accused. What is his background? Bibhav Kumar is Arvind Kejriwal's personal assistant. He has been facing ED scrutiny as well in the excise policy linked uh, money laundering case. In February, ED conducted raids in several locations associated with Bibhav Kumar. And he was reportedly questioned to seek some clarifications regarding some documents associated with the liquor policy. Now, Directorate of Vigilance terminated the services of Vibhav Kumar as the personal secretary to uh, the Delhi chief minister. The termination order issued by the special secretary Vigilance cited a 2007 case pending against Vibhav Kumar. The order stated that the charges against Vibhav Kumar are grave in nature, including charge of assault or criminal force to deter a public servant from discharge of duty. So the charge of assault on Vibhav Kumar is not the first one. There has been a charge of him assaulting a government officer for obstructing a duty and he's been booked in that case as well. Now, several sections of the Indian Penal Court have been uh, applied on him. The FIR against Kumar has been filed under IPC 354, assault or use of criminal force on a woman with intent to disrobe. 506, criminal intimidation. 509, word, gesture or act intended to insult the modesty of a woman. And 323, voluntary causing hurt. I would like to read out a portion of the statement that Swati Maliwal has made to the police where she says, without any provocation whatsoever on my side, he started slapping me with full force. He slapped me seven to eight times. I felt absolutely numbed and shocked. I pushed him away with my legs. At that time, he pounced on me, brutally dragged me, deliberately pulled my shirt up. My shirt buttons opened and the shirt flew up. I landed on the floor, hitting my head on the center table. I was constantly screaming. After that, Bhav Kumar did not relent and attacked me by kicking me repeatedly in my chest. I was in a terrible state of shock at this unprovoked attack, she calls it. I was deeply traumatized. I called 112 and reported the crime against me. Bhav threatened me. And then a sort of expletives that she 
describes that were used on her. But the interesting part is that there are other videos now circulating about this incident and again a conflicting version comes up. There's CCTV footage there which shows that she's sitting in, in a sofa and rather she is being aggressive with the individual who she's interacting with. So clearly Amatmi Party's position on this matter has changed. Initially Sanjay Singh had said Swati Maliwal had gone to meet Arvind Kejriwal at his residence while she was waiting to meet him in the drawing room. Vibhav Kumar came and misbehaved with her. So there is a tacit admission here that the assault did happen. At least the misbehavior or the misdemeanor did happen as stated by Sanjay Singh. He says this is highly condemnable. Kejriwal has taken cognizance of it and will take strict action in the incident. This was the very first statement from the party. Now Atishi comes out and says this entire thing is a conspiracy. It is the BJP that has orchestrated this. And Swati Maliwal has played into the hands of the Bharatiya Janata Party. That changes everything, changes the narrative of the Amadmi Party. Clearly the party has changed its stance on this issue. So it is uh, of course very obvious that the matter is going to turn political. It already has. There are strong statements coming from the side of the BJP with the top leaders now reacting to this, including Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma, Union Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. We can listen into some of their sound bites as well. But what is important here is that this is the election season. A lot is at stake. What is the Congress response to this? Because remember, Aam Admi Party is an integral part of the India bloc. This entire election is an India versus NDA sort of a pitch that we are seeing in the national picture. So the India Alliance has Aam Admi Party with Congress as a, a partner in, in the alliance. So how has the alliance partners reacted? I mentioned that Akhilesh Yadav uh, dismissed the matter, saying that there are other important matters in this country to discuss. So that is the Samajwadi Party reaction, also part of the India bloc. Congress seems to be extremely guarded, where Priyanka Gandhi apparently said that her support is for the woman whoever, whichever party she belongs to, very guarded sort of response without explicitly saying much. The fact of the matter is, if a woman has indeed been assaulted in the residence of a chief minister, it's a very, very serious matter. And that too, somebody who was heading a women's panel earlier, the chief of Delhi Commission for Women, if this is what uh, is has happened to her, strict action must be taken. But could there be a political conspiracy? We don't yet know. How much of it is, is the truth that is being reported to the police? How much of it is manufactured? We don't know. We have to rely on circumstantial evidence and some of the evidence that has come to the fore in terms of the CCTV footage that has been accessed. Thanks for watching.